dear student today we shall continue with the lesson reflection of light and this is a part 2 video of this lesson class 8 so let's learn about uh, different concept in reflection of light let's quickly revise uh, which we have covered in our previous video so first we have covered the reflection of light so what is this when light rays fall on uh, an object their direction changes and they turn back this is called the reflection of light now next was uh, we have covered the three laws of reflection so first one the angle of reflection is equal to angle of incident it means angle of reflection it is r is equals to i that is angle of incidence next the incidence ray reflected ray and normal lie in the same plane that is in one plane the incident ray the incidence ray and the reflected ray are on the opposite side of the normal so today we will go, we shall learn about the regular reflection of light so let's see what it is so the reflection of light from a plane and a smooth surface is called regular reflection of light you can observe uh, alongside picture that uh, the reflection which takes place on a smooth surface it is called as a regular reflection of light and the incidence ray and the reflected ray are parallel that means uh, all the three incident ray which are indicated by blue colored and the reflected ray which are indicated by uh, pink color these are parallel to each other so for regular reflection the angle of uh, the angle of incidence as well as angle of reflection are the same for all parallel rays falling on the surface and thus the reflected rays are also parallel to one another that means all are parallel to one another and if the angle of incident for incident rays are i1 i2 and i3 and their angles of refraction are r1 r2 and r3 respectively then i1 is equals to i2 and equals to i3 and same these are equal to r1 r e equals to r2 and again it will equal to r3 that means these all are parallel to each other that's why they equal to each other now next we have is irregular reflection of light so the reflection of light from a rough surface is called irregular reflection of light so this is exactly opposite to the regular reflection of light so here you can uh, observe alongside picture in that reflection which is takes place in the rough surface this is not smooth this is rough surface so this is irregular reflection of light and in this reflection the rays are not parallel to each other so in irregular refraction the angles of incident for parallel rays of incident are not equal and therefore their angles of refraction are also not equal that means i1 is not equal to i2 and again it will not equal to i3 okay so these are not equal to each other as they are not parallel to each other and same i1 is equals to r1 but this is not equal to r2 and again it will not equal to r3 thus the reflected rays are not parallel to one another and is spread over a large surface now always remember student uh, laws of refraction are followed in both regular and irregular refraction so the laws of refraction just now we have revised so these are followed in both regular and irregular refraction and the reflection of light in irregular refraction has not been obtained because the laws of refraction are not followed and they are obtained because the surface is rough in irregular refraction and in irregular refraction the angles of incident at different point are different so as they are not parallel to each other so these are different at different point but at any one point the angle of incident and reflection are equal that means only at one point not not in all the surface so that is i1 is equals to r1 and i2 is equals to r2 now next we have to learn about the reflection of reflected light so first is 
how do you see if the barber in a saloon has cut the hair are on your neck properly or not so in saloon there are mirrors in your front and at back side so the image of the back of your head is formed in the mirror at the back side and the image of this image is formed in the mirror in front of you thus you can see how the hair at the back side of your head is cut next is how do we see the image of the moon in water as moon is not self luminous that means it does not have its self light the sunlight falling on the surface at the of the moon is reflected and this reflected light is again reflected by water to give us the image of the moon and in this way light can be reflected several times and we can clearly see the image of the moon on water now this is very interesting con uh, concept of the reflection of light that is kaleidoscope so what is this kaleidoscope is an optical toy consisting of 2 to 3 mirrors at a particular angle and kaleidoscope produces beautiful patterns a kaleidoscope is used as a toy for entertainment so alongside picture you can observe the structure or the structure of the kaleidoscope it contains eyepiece at one end and the end cap in the another end and it uh, has a cardboard tube and the three mirror which are um, arranged in a triangular manner now here um, one activity is given that how this kaleidoscope is made so we have to take three rectangular mirrors of the same size and using a sticking tape stick the mirrors together making a triangle with a reflecting surface facing inwards and take a white paper triangular shape and fix it with the tape at one end of the mirrors closing the end so you can observe how the kaleidoscope is made with the triangular mirrors with the rectangular mirrors so insert four to five colored pieces so this is how we have to cover the one end of the kaleidoscope and insert four to five colored glass pieces in the hole of the mirror and close the other end also with the paper and make a hole in it look through the hole towards light you will see innumerable <coughs> sorry images of the glass pieces so in this way you can make the beautiful kaleidoscope and you can uh, own do your creativity so you can see different designs in the kaleidoscope uh, and the speciality of the kaleidoscope is that the design do not easily repeat themselves and every time the design is different different and people making wallpapers which are used to decorate walls and cloth designers use kaleidoscope for making new designs now next we have is a periscope so what is this a periscope is a long tubular device through which a person can see object from the bottom window which are present in front of the top window and a periscope works on the reflection of light from two plane mirrors arranged parallel to one another alongside picture you can observe the structure of the periscope in which you can observe that uh, the two here the mirrors are taken at the angle of 45 degree so in the bottom uh, bottom of this periscope eyepiece is there that means from uh, the bottom part we can observe the image which are present at the top parts so here periscope is used in submarines to see object above the surface of water and used to observe and keep a watch on the object or persons on the ground from an underground bunker so these all are the uses of periscope that means we can um, mainly these are used in the submarines to see the object which are present above the surface of the water so this is the uh, these all three are the structure of the periscope and uh, the kaleidoscope and periscope both use the properties of reflection of light so student i hope you all have understood this and here we have finished our this chapter and next part we will continue uh, next topic we will continue in our next session thank you